You go to other destinations to find out what they're getting right and also to get about uh, to get tourists who come to Africa to do multiple destinations. Apparently, is the way forward. We hope to promote seriously tourism and we believe that if tourism is given the right impetus, the right push, we can really create jobs. You know, it's, it's a multi linkage destination. You can create jobs and in terms of revenue, you know, we can also pay a lot of taxes to the government. So, uh, I think it's time for the government to look at tourism seriously. Look at it seriously. But um, how far is the tourism industry doing so far? In we, are not, yeah. we are not, uh, we are doing fairly well. That I would say that we are not doing what we should be doing. It's not at its peak. You know, if you, you take uh, countries like uh, even Gambia, little Gambia, they are doing so well in tourism. Uh, we recently went to uh, Zambia. And if you go to Zambia, you realize that they are serious. I mean, everybody, those in tourism are serious. The hotels are coming up. Uh, the tour the, the tour operators are there with their vehicles. And uh, they get a stream of visitors worldwide. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's what we don't have here. We, ours tend to be a bit seasonal, and that is not too good for us. Tourism should be an all-year-round year activity. So that's what we are trying to do, that um, if we are able to bring in all these countries that we are visiting, we've just been to Zambia and a bit of Kenya, we are going to uh, Sierra Leone, those in the West Coast. What happens is that normally, um, tourists have a, a, a either 7, 10 or 14 day cycle. So what we do, we're trying to do is, when we visited all these countries and then we are We'll just sit down with them, and then we'll come. We'll do a program to cover all these countries, because now what we're talking about multi destinations. Most countries, are <clears throat> most people are not financially sound. You can't okay. just go to one country. That's what we've been doing. You go to one country at time, for two, and weeks two days, and then you whatever. leave, okay. and, things, and uh, it's expensive. I mean, airfares are not that cheap, and things. So when we do this multi destination things. Then the airlines were also cooperative. Actually, Kenya was doing so well. That's they are coordinating now, giving us very reasonable fares. So then we can sell a package, hotels, transport, everything, and not just one country at a time. So you only go to Ghana for and your 10 days, or you go, go to Sierra Leone for 10 days? Which is not too good. Okay, so you mentioned you've already been to Zambia. Zambia. You're yeah. going to be going to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, and then uh, Benin, and then Equatorial Guinea have also indicated that Joined they are interested. In. They want to join. Okay. So, so we want to combine all these countries. Yes. As on a fact finding mission. So far, what, what what were some of the things you learned on your on when you on your last trip to Zambia? Yeah, Zambia. When we went, we realized that uh, they have a very strong tourism base. You see, they have a strong tourism. So what they do, when you can, they, they, the the top tourists have various packages. You know, they have backpackers, they have high class, five star, and whatever. Mm. So, when you go, uh, before you go, I mean, they sell these and they attend these tourism fairs. Uh, internationally. They inter yes, then they sell the fair to the tourists to the company, various companies. Mm. So, when you pick, you know, and normally they like groups, not individual, I mean, groups of 30, 40, 50. So, then it's packaged, and then you come, and then you do the tours. Like in Zambia, we went to see the Victoria Falls, one of the seven wonders of mm. the world, and flew over it. In a helicopter, wow. you know, and if you're a bit more adventurous, they have the one which, well, which is uh, just two of you, not covered, and you fly over the waterfalls. It's a mm. great thing. And then we went to their national park, and most of the hotels uh, in Zambia, Livingston to be precise, are um, in the national park. So you see the animals. I mean, they are there. You are there. You see elephants passing, and monkeys stealing sugar from your hotel room if you are careless. Baboons, you know, and they are, it, the interesting thing is that they are not, they, even though they are wild animals, they don't attack. Mm -hmm. Once you don't uh, infuriate them, you don't you know, do anything like the elephants passing in the night to go and you are asked to keep quiet. Mm. And they'll pass, hundreds of them. To their While you're home. sleeping in your hotel. Yes, or even standing by, once you don't create noise to attract them or well. make them panic, or they just pass by quietly. And, and then we went to Mukuni uh, Big Game District, there where some animals have been tamed, lions, cheetahs, and you were allowed to, I mean, they were allowed you to touch them, 
you touch them, you take pictures with them, they are still wild. The guards, uh, the, the guys are there to protect, they have guns and they just in case anything goes. But generally it's okay. Then you go on a tour to the mighty Zambezi River. It's a very nice thing. And all these things are packed there. Meanwhile, in the interim, they're also selling you things. And it's interesting. So they've structured and streamlined their tourism. It's so structured. You, they would, as part of the program, they would take you to a shop, huge shop. They sell all these things. And before you are where you are picking things and paying for them. I have a, I had a very funny uh, incident to narrate. I have been to South Africa to one of their national. I bought a whole lot of things, rhinos, wooden, this thing. But when we were taking there, I mean, I bought this and then later I asked myself, why well, you have this and that too? But you see, that is the thing. You, the, you, they're you're trained to, to know how to exactly. sell. Exactly, and they, they, the way they are, they, they do it. It's like that, you, oh, you need a souvenir, you need some souvenirs. Okay, back home. let me ask you, almost out of time on this. Okay. Um, when, if, when this multi-destination um, thing comes into actualization yeah. where you're able to now sell a tour for someone coming from Europe or wherever to travel to Ghana, South Africa, Gambia, mm -hmm. and then maybe a 10-day yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. What is it about Ghana that you feel is going to be attractive enough? As you, as it stands now, seeing what you've gone to see in other countries, do you feel like we are in a good position to sell um, our country well enough comparatively to what, what the other countries are doing? Yeah, we have, we have a lot to sell. We have the culture to sell. We have the slave castles to sell. It's a wonderful thing. And now Mole game is coming back on its own. It's being developed. The roads are being made. And the and in Shire Hills, we have a whole lot of things. The there, monkeys and stuff. Know. So, there. yes, we have a lot to sell. We have a lot to sell. And Ghana, we also are in the center of the world. Temas, the meridian goes through certain things. We've, we've not packaged this. In other countries, you go and these are the things they sell. Take a trip to the center of the world. They will take you somewhere, take pictures, and it's business. You've created jobs for a whole lot of people, and then when they come, oh, I went to the center of the world, I took a picture. It's not like going to the States, you go to NASA and they put you in a suit and they, they take pictures and you pay. <laughs> so Ghana, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get that, yes, we'll get yes. We have a lot to sell, we have a lot to do, but we need, uh, we are a bit late in the day, but uh, we still uh, can make it. All right. Thank you very much. And I say a big thank you to Mr. Johnny Moreau, who's the manager and director of Graceland Travel and Tours Limited.